In the previous video we designed a gallium arsenide PV cell. Gallium arsenide is one of the default materials that come with PC1D. But say we want to design an indium gallium arsenide cell. Uh, indium gallium arsenide does not come as a default material with PC1D, unfortunately, so you have to design it yourself. This video is going to show you how you design it yourself. So it's actually relatively straightforward. So, say, um, you can uh, in your region one, it says material from program defaults. So what I'm going to do now is so say the dielectric constant that for ingas or indium gallium arsenide is 13.6. So there we go. And now the band gap of um, ingas is about 0 0.74 electron volts and the electron affinity is 4.5. Um, you can find these values yourself for any material you want. Pretty much. So I could end edit the intrinsic concentration, the refractive index, anything, any parameter you know about the material. So now what you do then is you go into material so you can edit all these so say if you wanted to edit the mobility so the maximum mobility in gas has a very high um, electron mobility I think it is about 12 e to the 3 uh, it, that's why the material is often used in um, transistors it's uh, generally quite a fast material so you edit the parameters that you want uh, so you could edit the bulk recombination all the doping stuff so now what we do once we've we're happy that the parameters are as close to ingas as possible we go up to device go up to material and we go to save as um, and then you just give it your name so ingas um, there we go and it saves us as a material file so the handy thing now you can do is so say if you insert a new region to uh, and now we can just click here this is all our own material files you can see I have a few that uh, come with PC1D, but there's also a few I've made myself. Indium aluminium arsenide. Uh, I've made an ingas cell. Um, and an algas. So, say I wanted the indium aluminium arsenide, I can just click that one now. Modern, and you can see that the parameters change to fit the material. Uh, it really speeds up the process, so I'd recommend always saving uh, any material you make in PC1D. You never know when you might use it again.